country. Dr. Kendi and these other authors can write their books and debate their views and put them out in public. It's absolutely their right to do so. They are welcome to do so. But what we cannot allow, what we must not allow, is our federal government to affirm and sanction and advocate this critical race theory. We cannot allow the United States of America, the greatest nation on earth, to legitimize a new era of racial engineering. In the past few years, critical race theory has gained new prominence in the giant corporations, in the media, in the military, even in our children's schools. We're seeing this across the country. We've seen too many of our children exposed to a curriculum like the 1619 Project and its derivatives that encourages division rather than unity, that rewrites our history in the service of an ideological agenda rather than in the service of truth. Young children set off to school with eyes full of hope and hearts full of pride in their country only to be taught that white privilege defines the nation, that subjects like mathematics are inherently racist, that the Christian faith is oppressive. They're taught that the nuclear family perpetuates racism. Now imagine for a moment if you were taught the same. Imagine if you were taught that your dreams were unjust or unfair, that your family were oppressors, that you were at fault for the problems of our society today. These are just children. We should be nurturing their dreams. We should be nurturing their hopes. We should be giving them a great hope for the future, for the future of this great nation known as the United States of America, a hope for the future of the greatest nation in the history of the world, rather than teaching them to mistrust their classmates.